a let me preface this video by saying this is not a video that I wanted to make or uh, really even talk about. So most of you that have followed me for the last couple of years know that I post two to three videos a week teaching content, uh, eBay, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, reselling success stories. I've been doing that steadily up until about three, four months ago. Some of you also know that I do a lot of industrial sales, equipment, tools, a lot of local stuff, some stuff online. One of the things that I have quite a few of and I resell are these 3M workplace worksite respirators. This is the 3M 6800 um, full face respirator. I've um, been selling these way before COVID. Um, this is something I normally sold. Um, things got weird. Now, if you look online, you can find these brand. This is just an open box I have lying around, just for an example what I'm talking about. It's a full face respirator, okay? These sell new all the time on eBay for 100 actually closer to $150 right now. Um, I was selling mine for between $79 and $100, depending if it had the filters. Um, I also sold them locally, along with all the other industrial equipment that you can think of. Uh, air guns, staplers, drill bits, stuff like that. Sorry if there's a lot of traffic going by. It's, it's, it's a Friday night. So in the beginning of March, uh, I got an order. Somebody bought one of these for, I think the total price was shipping. It's like $117, which is not out of the normal price range. It's not price gouging. You, you're not gonna wear this. Oh, that was a big truck. Uh, you're not gonna wear this uh, for COVID. I, I suppose it would work, but this is going to be for an industrial situation. I had a guy order one from Georgia. Didn't think of anything of it. Wrapped it up, sent it out. Actually, same day, same day. About a week later, I started getting random phone calls from people uh, all over the United States asking why I am ripping off American taxpayers. What had happened was an individual from Georgia, I'm not gonna say the name, I had to get certain people involved legally. I'm not gonna say anything. The story's down. I haven't been able to find it anywhere, thank God. Uh, somebody with a newspaper, might as well have been a blog, went out and bought this and uh, used it as one of three examples of people all over the United States ripping off their fellow Americans. My name and face were blasted all over several social media platforms. Uh, I still have the same number. The last time I got a call was about three weeks ago. The scary part is somebody locally threatened the life of my family. I'm not going to say any more than that. Uh, I had to get the police involved. And the situation has been taken care of. Um, so that's why I have not been posting my regular videos. I know I posted a weigh and pay video, a Goodwill outlet haul video about a week ago, and those are going to start up again. But I honestly did not feel comfortable making any more videos. There were a few videos that I had put out that um, uh, would have probably given away a little bit more information about my location and with me being docs, I just didn't want those videos. So the videos from about um, two months ago aren't gonna be up anymore, any longer. So good teaching videos. I will re-upload that content, not those same videos, but that content, I promise you. Now, the last thing I wanna do is discourage or scare people. 
into selling things on eBay. Uh, I talked to the writer or editor of that story and uh, after about a two hour conversation, they were very apologetic. They did not, under not understand that that is pretty much the going price for one of these puppies. And I think also it was the perfect storm uh, people are upset. Nobody wants to get the coronavirus, especially their friends or family. And uh, a lot of Americans, unfortunately, like to be a victim and they like to find somebody. That's the blame. Unfortunately, that was me. Uh, this is something, like I said, I have sold for the past two years at the same price. I didn't raise the price during the coronavirus. Uh, I actually talked to eBay on the phone twice. Um, they actually called me and uh, we came to the agreement that, yeah, it, it, it's at retail price, actually a little bit below retail price. Uh, you're not price gouging, you're good. So that's the long story short. I don't want to go into it any further. I'm not going to discuss it any further. It was a very scary situation. And uh, that is the reason for my absence so you can see the back of the car is completely empty uh just got a giant collection of vinyl had to go through a whole barn full mostly trash also got a couple of this isn't the only one a couple of original uh rhythm and blues promos uh be showing that in a future video so for my long-term viewers or yeah long term you've been with me from the beginning and new people that that's why I haven't been on lately. Not that I didn't want to. Believe me, I badly wanted to make a lot of videos in the past couple of months. Especially after what's been going on. But more content is coming soon. Uh, I gotta go list this stuff. Well, it's next. It's not in the car anymore. I gotta go list the... It's, it was here. It, it's, it's there. So I'm gonna go list that stuff. We'll see you later.